What is up, guys? It's Shu here with my fiance. Doesn't want to say much, but this is my stomping ground. This is where I came from many moons ago. And today is going to be a different kind of vlog. As you can tell, there is many eager students ready to learn. But today is her final, her statistics final. Mm -hmm. You can see she has paper, stuff like that, ready to be going. She's never actually been on campus, but for me, it's it feels like I've, I haven't missed it. I have definitely not missed being here, but it is nice to once again be able to visit this wonderful community college here in Jamestown, North Carolina. And for her, it'll be a very awkward experience because she's never been here. So... I am personally kind of surprised that nothing's really changed because you would think after like what five years things would be a lot different but it is still the same old campus Ooh, trying to get it. yeah sorry about that so the fiance is taking her test uh, but guys I guess since I'm here. I guess I'd share you a uh, interesting uh, story uh, real quickly since I'm here in Jamestown. Uh, when I first got here to this community college, let me tell you my experience. It was definitely overwhelming because uh, I went and here's a little bit about me. I went to college for or community college for about four years and. Uh, I didn't really want to go to uh, a university or an actual college because I thought it was kind of pointless. And I was really just kind of winging it at first. And I was just kind of, well, I'm going to, you know, I, I knew what I wanted to do, but I was just like, let me waste time anyway. So I decided to just kind of make it longer than I had to. But being here on this campus, on Jamestown campus, uh, it was, it, it was, for me, uh, like, like I said, overwhelming, and it was just kind of, uh, I don't know, I met some interesting people, I will say that, um, the one case, you know, I guess it would be my first semester here, was that this, the dude that I was talking to, or, you know, being friends with, he was kind of, uh, uh he was a little, I guess, Thuggish would be the right word. Um, I don't think I had a problem with that at all. I just didn't. But the dude was uh, quite thuggish. Uh, so he, you know, was, you know, was. I think he was in school for the wrong reasons. Uh, I guess he thought it was still high school, and clearly it wasn't. But to wrap this up, I remember taking him to to his house a couple times. It was very awkward. And then there was one time where there was a girl in our class he really wanted to hit on her and she actually approached me okay this is a weird story she approached me not that she was interested in me but she was just telling me he's like why is he talking to me i'm like i i think he's really interested in you he really he's really into you and he really wants to get to know you and i'm like well i'm not and i was just kind of like oh okay cool uh, I, I wasn't insinuating that she was interested in me again. I, I I assumed that she wasn't, and I was correct to assume so. I mean, she was pretty and everything, but personally, you know, she seemed like the cool type, not the type that I would date. So you know, just you know, keeping it cool, you know, classmate stuff. I I, I didn't even know what her major was. She, I I never actually got it, but she she just told me like, yeah, I don't really like him, but I don't want you to tell him. I just kind of want him to continue on talking to me until the point to where he realizes that I don't want him. And I was just kind of thinking, that's a little messed up on your part, but I won't say a thing. I mean, it's really between y'all. So, I mean, you know, if you don't want to tell him, then don't. And if you do, then great. But that's cool. And so the semester kind of went on, and I just kind of let, let things happen. And it was just kind of weird knowing that and by the end of the semester, I didn't have a class with them anymore because it was one of those um, introductory classes. 
And so I didn't have any classes with them, but then by the end of the semester, he told me, you know, hey, uh, I, I think I'm going to move on and uh, get on a, a different girl. You know, hope to see you again. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, ne we never got to see each other again. But it, moral of the story is here, <laughs> for me, is it feels weird to be involved in a situation. So if you know some information, just don't tell me. <laughs> I, I mean, I was just kind of weirdly holding it. And this is college. It's not like high school. But I guess for them, or th these two people, there was a, it was really still kind of like college. So it was a little weird. But, yeah, that's one of the weird experiences I had in college. Um, there was others, but I think that was one of the more interesting ones that I've had um, dealing with people. And, personally, I want to say it was it, it was enjoyable. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of interesting other people, uh, mostly in my degree, that I've kept up with and communicating with. Um, so, you know, it was kind of cool. Uh, but purpose of the video, like I said, was it's her, uh, but I wanted to give you guys an update also about what has been happening. Um, I haven't been posting on this channel uh, very much, and I, I do apologize for that. Uh, I've been very, as you guys may or may not know, preoccupied with my main channel. There's been a lot of anime-related news, uh, movie reviews that I've been doing, movie uh, uh anime discussions and stuff like that uh, so I've been I've been doing that and uh, I haven't been really able to to talk to you guys or post and stuff but here's some things here's some good news if you guys like when I post vlogs and stuff like that I will be uh, at Raleigh Supercon here in North Carolina uh, and I will be vlogging I will be there all three days hopefully uh, and it's it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. My fiance is looking forward to it, and it's just gonna be a lot going on. Uh, so that vlog may be very long. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything, then do say so. If not, I'll cut some stuff out. I normally don't edit much in my vlogs just because I I don't vlog for very long. So there's really not much to cut out, but for three days, I'm going to have a lot of stuff going on, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. So, also, um, possibly the weekend after that, which would be the first weekend of August, crazy how time flies, will, I will be possibly doing a vlog at Wizard World at Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, it'll be the first time in North Carolina they'll, they'll be having a... Uh, Wizard World Convention. I've heard of them, and I've known that there's going to be a lot. There, there's been a lot of like big names at these Wizard World conventions, but this one here in North Carolina is a little different. It's I mean, it's the first time, so they're just pulling in some names. Uh, I'm not very familiar with many of them, to be honest with you guys. So it's just kind of like cool. I'm going mostly for my fiance. There's some people that she wants to go see. So the well, the hope is that we go. Okay, because also on that same day, my friend invited me to go to Charlotte to go and go karting. And you guys don't know this about me, but I love go karting. Uh, I'm very competitive. Uh, I'm st I still haven't got myself a Nintendo Switch. I love Mario Kart. I play the old Double Dash uh, Mario Kart on my GameCube till this day. In fact, I played that just like two days ago. That's how much I still play this game. I've unlocked all the achievements, and I'm like, I don't care. I just really want to continue racing because I love Mario Kart. And when I go kart, it's just kind of like, man, I just want to throw a red shell at the person in front of me, you know, or a green shell, whatever. The blue shell, the most though, that's the best. But I, I really, really just wanted to uh, like tell you guys that a little bit more about me. Uh, when it came to that, because, yeah, I get really competitive, but it was, it's just really cool to be able to go cold karting after so long, cause I haven't gone in, like, two years, so for me, it's just kind of like Charlotte and Winston, so I'm really conflicted of how much I can do in one day, so it's a hope of mine for both things to happen, but I feel like in the end, I'll be able to pick one, but either, regardless of which one I pick, I will be vlogging it, 
Um, I was going to vlog, and this is a, one of my uh, things that I didn't want to talk about, but I had to. I was going to vlog yesterday. Uh, yesterday, Sunday, uh, I was going to vlog because uh, we, I had gone to Charlotte uh, with my fiance and a group of friends. We had gone to uh, see a, a international soccer game. Uh, I'm a big fan of Chelsea. I love wearing blue, so Chelsea, you know, all day, every day. But the pr issue was that, I mean, the teams that were playing were Liverpool and Borussia Dortmund. You know, I wasn't really pulling for either one, you know. I was just, I guess mostly it was just trying to watch a good game. And in the end, Borussia won 3-1, to one, which was a really good game. I mean, uh, I think the score was justified. The way uh, they were playing was kind of cool. Uh, I enjoyed it, you know. But before the game and after the game, it was the issue with my friends. Um, we had issues arriving on time like we wanted to. Um, and it, it really got complicated overall. I mean, I don't want to get into all the details because they're not pretty. So, I, I I wasn't the best, but I did enjoy the game. Uh, I I hope to be able to go again with a group of friends, uh, but I definitely want it to be better organized. So, uh, I'm really just kind of hoping that we that we do this right if we do it again. So, I wasn't able to vlog, and I felt bad because you know normally I do vlog going to these games. I, I vlog for my channel and for my friend's channel because they're also with me. Um, and so, you know, I, I normally do these things, you know, and I feel like I broke tradition. And I wasn't I wasn't in the mood to vlog. I didn't even take pictures, uh, which sucks because um, normally I do. So, I mean, that's kind of how frustrated I was with the situation. So, but yeah, that's that's what happened. And so I wasn't able to, so I kind of want to still vlog today, and I, like I said, I don't mostly, but for the upcoming weeks, I'm going to try to be definitely uploading more on this channel, more vlogs, and for you, those that don't know, um, I will be getting married in September, um, just kind of keeping you updated with that, I know a lot of you guys are new subscribers, and a lot of you are just not aware of it, but I will be getting married September 29th, so I'm excited, it's almost that time so I'll be very busy so but I will still find time to upload for you guys to talk to you guys because you know guys you guys are truly awesome I've met some wonderful people uh, in throughout this community uh, the YouTube community the Twitter and Instagram community I've met some very wonderful individuals um, but you know I, I definitely am looking forward to to getting married in September so there's just a quick update of that uh, but a lot of events coming guys a lot a lot going on for from now to November so uh, a lot going on this is like the uh, plus work so I mean uh, I'm getting busier at my job and she's getting busier at her job so there's a lot going on so but um, like I said definitely want to keep you guys in the loop on these things I wanted you guys to know uh, an interesting story about me so but yeah that's definitely mostly what I want to let you guys know and kind of be aware of it's kind of turned into a car vlog but when the fiance gets back we'll ask her how she's doing and then we'll probably go out to eat so look out for that Just finished up her final. Let's see how it went for her. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a penguin or what one. Oh, how was the exam? It was on paper. I haven't taken a paper test in like four years. How did you feel about that? I'm okay. There were some there was one question I knew it was wrong, but it said you had to do it by the formula and I typed it in my calculator to check it. And I was like, this isn't right, but I'm too brain dead to try to figure it out. So I wrote on there, I know this is wrong. <laughs> so you told the teacher ahead of time that <laughs> you weren't sure about your correct answer. I knew it wasn't right because I did it in my calculator and I knew that was right. But doing it with the formula, I was like, this isn't right. <laughs> but it's okay. I felt really confident about the rest of it. 
How do you feel being on Jamestown? It feels weird. Why? It feels weird. You see all these eager students here? They all look angry. They are angry. You know, I actually walked around. I didn't take the camera with me, but to let all you know, I actually walked around campus and walked past my old classes and I got myself a drink and like a bag of chips for no reason. <laughs> but I don't know when the next time I'll be back here, but I know as far as you go, never. Yes, not. <laughs> so I guess we need to go find some foods and, Food. ch and chow down. And celebrate me being done with statistics. That too, I suppose. Those were the only things standing between me and applying for nurse practitioner school. Mm. So, a lot of stuff waiting for you in the future. Of course, including getting married to you. Yes, I, I mentioned that in this video. <laughs> Take me to get food. 